hey, take, take my money here. <laughs> oh, that's the beauty of some of these games. You can just cosmetic and modify yourself for your appearance, but only appearance. Skill is something that you should have yourself onto. But sometimes it's okay to be a loser. It's okay to be a noob as long as your cosmetics is a pro. Yeah, you don't want to check but, my check my account, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there we go. We got a queue that we're gonna get into the game very soon. Let's jump into the first game for today. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are into the first actual match for today for week three. We resume of the tournament versus, of course, Mirama and the feature players Matoy, Bart, Hydra, and Stewart. 9k everyone on the board is really close in terms of total damage not too far apart in terms of kills as well but chicken dinner of course leading the board is team secret as well as bapa are so these teams definitely will want to go head to head with each other they are placed first and second in the overall standing so lots of rivalry gonna happen there and of course the flight path from the right side of the map to the top side of this map who will go where we will find out will they switch up their strategies as compared to the first two weeks we will see in this game yeah some of the team will drop at the same place they were and used to be before but low career i don't think any team gonna drop by i do hear a couple of gunshots already into the game there quite early engagement it's kind of a rare impulse will be occupied by trader as well as dingoes dingoes usually like to occupy chumacera in the first week but apparently they change the spot now at the unbeatable going to drop by alazar like the usual spot but, but i will occupy lost owners and dominating that bigatron will drop around picado apparently team no recall maybe around monte nuevo well we have impunity around lake robrera mm -hmm. or maybe around the trailer park later on but, but uh, around los leones they are not contested but divinity and dingoes are sharing the same compound here we're talking about really really close towards each other i see a little bit of water on the circle especially when it comes to this map i'm um, happy you just cannot you just cannot let it go do you no, I can't. I was just the same as these two teams, Divinity and also Dingoes. They can't let go of this location. Both of them, they want this part of the map, but both of them still respecting each other at this point. And Meso with the Afro looking really cool there. Uh, Gigi and his teammates just looting it all around. Not going to see much big engagement here at this point it's still very early in the game and of course it is the first official match so pretty sure that all the teams are going to play it fairly safely at this point because they want to relearn like what have other teams have been doing and now miss rose esports together with tara and impunity they are in the same compound impunity looks like they have one side to their own miss rose esports a little bit sandwiched there between themselves as well as lyria lyrian on the other side having eyes on miss rose esports but not sure where are the rest of teammates for ah, there you go just behind him as well so miss rose esports is the sandwich in between yeah, but uh, you can take up this uh, sandwich moment into advantage if you know how to cope with the fight here and get yourself Ooh. a free kill. Nuke on the other end with a micro in his end, managed to knock a couple of members from Divinity. And how do you want to approach this? Because they are really quite far ahead for Crucifer from the rest of the team. He will try to get himself into the compound. Impact is right on the right side of that compound as well. And he needs to get himself inside of the building because apparently he cannot do much from this distance or they will just abandon the rest of the teammate who are waiting for them. Dingles there beside Trixie and just gotta finish it off with a clean kill. Two points freely on the side of Dingo straight off the bat when the game started in not even reaching one minute yet yeah not even reaching one minute and two team members from divinity comes the first two to go out of this round and now we do see impact here looks like they have trader around the corner as well trainer may do the third party if they want to but then again looks like dingoes definitely have eyes on the side of divinity they're trying to flush out or trying to see who else is around but looks like they're just going up and down as well can't find where the team members of divinity are because they have relocated themselves onto the edge of this town but trader 
just across them. We do see here Olaf having that compound for himself and Impact looks like he will get a vehicle and he may make a move for it because it is still the top 16. You don't want to drop out of this at this point because it only means one point for you and not like Divinity have gotten any kills at this point. Dingo's got the first couple of kills so that's two on the board and Divinity looks like they will roll out and change to another location. They were forced to. They lost a couple of members. A lot of casualty on their side there. Right straight off the bat from into the game. It's not a good start for Divinity. Rose Esports, on the other hand, are still sandwiched between Punity Kage and Tara Esports here. Impunity quite far ahead from them, but slowly advancing themselves into the side of uh, Rose Esports. Syndicate, also Tara there. I don't think they will actually uh, want to take that, the challenge, but Mafia kind of sniffed out their positions from Tara's side here. Maybe waiting for the victim of his uh, Scar L to be exposing themselves way too early. Hopefully, Rose Esports because are playing very cautious regarding this because I don't think they have any idea to actually exit out from this vicinity. They want to take up a challenge, but there you go. Mapping already cooking up the nade, throwing it in, hoping to hit anybody on the side of Rose City Cave. Yep, and looks like the grenade goes out and that signals to T Miss Rose Esports that, okay, there's Tara on the other side and now they are being pinned down. Sometimes the grenade is not really wanting to hit anyone, but it's just a warning grenade just like okay you stay in your house so we can loot the entire area so what we can see here looks like tara just look at what they just did they managed to pin down miss rose esports in the house and now tara can make that rotation safely without being spotted out without being pinned down without being gunned down and vehicles exploded and all that so that's actually a really good move i'd say just throwing out that grenade not meaning to hit anyone but just like okay now we can move around freely it's like a dud nade, you know, that we, we have that in games or like it's not exploding, it's just a dud where it just, it was a bait nade, but not even exploding. But this one is actually a, a good a baiting nade as well, making sure that they have to expose themselves before to be out from their hiding spot. But back to the circle we go and it's really centralizing around Junkyard here. The one actually in the center of it is Resurgence in show. we have Team Secret fleeing themselves straight smack in the middle of a circle making sure they won't be late in terms of rotation but there's so many teams outside of circle here impunity there's rose esports syndicate wow tone wow esports team no rico papa r and even Vico try and manage to get himself a little bit last minute around picardo will they gatekeeping this because apparently papa R will have to go down from the south side to his lab and detail if he wants to go i have to go through so many teams on the south side then because west side is also occupied uh, well apparently trader is really having a good time because they won't be contested except for divinity who only happens to have two people left in the team yep at the same time impunity needs to get through miss rose esports they're still in la cobrera but looks like impunity they're taking another different role which may come up and which they may see tone wow esports depending tone wow esports which route does they do they take Team No Recall on the other hand as well. Looks like they are looks like the teams on the left side of the map they are starting to convert with each other. Tara, they have they have a location where they can gatekeep there. Do they want to do that in such an open area as well? Not too sure about that. There's a couple of high grounds there, but that's also that also depends how confident you are in holding on to the high ground. Now we have seen teams like Team Secret. Yes, they are very good with the high ground, but the circle is not kind to them in previous matches so what happens is that when you want to try to get down from the high ground you are surrounded by all other teams it's almost impossible to get down and hence you are pinned down on that high ground not going to look good for you so it's actually a 50 50 gamble that you need to take here team no record they may take an empty road into this circle but now the circle definitely will pressure all those teams oh, are coming. oh there you no. go no water i'm not happy well i'm really happy about the circle sorry for you you <laughs> then but that, <laughs> where you go is where you the circle will be at chris Deville is really centralizing on that circle resurgence will have to fight against bigger trauma looking bapa ah will have to be faced around dingoes and punity still going at it with tara behind their tails here impunity making sure that they migrate into mm. this zone very fast awm with a full slaughter 
hundred and four equipment here, level three gears, even an eight times scope with that. Except for a cheek pad, I do use a cheek pad there. Oh yeah, but well, who is AWM? Come on, Micro Uzi for the win. Micro Uzi, you can do those like 400, 400 meter Micro Uzi shots. It's fine. Yeah, who needs an AWM at this point? Looks like Impurity, they do spot out someone there, but they need to make that rotation because there's only about 30 seconds before the circle closes in. They do have a vehicle with them. We do see here Good Jelly together with Rectify in the same vehicle, but Tom while wow, Esports. They are nearby. Will they make the VF to shot? Oh, 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 oh. right now. But then again, the vehicle managed to get away from them. But it looks like Ape is taking a couple of hits there. And Rectify comes down. Will they go for the pursuit here? Oh, Ape is really, really low now. Biu Biu, on the other hand, trying to spray it out, playing with this terrain here. The thing about Miramar, you really have to understand the terrain. That's the advantage you can work with here. Trying to cook the nade for Biu Biu. Showing it in. Will it hit two members mm -hmm. of Trader a little bit too late? For that task, he's trying to nade it one more time, trying to cook it. But Bew is a really not in the good spot right now. He needs to budge, but he's apparently trying to give more pressure on the trade side. Throwing one more nade, making sure he's giving them off a pressure that they won't be advancing anytime soon. Bew is a really, really nasty guy here. Trying to make it hard for everybody else to advance and delay the movement for trade side go back to the rest of the team making sure they have more time more time to buy more time to replace themselves in a better position next right and now we do see a trader looks like they are still pinned down in that one small hut as well and around it but at the same time h2o is just next to the asta here trying to find a good location does not have a vehicle anymore have been exploded but then again they need to keep an eye on h2o shots goes out onto h2o kaya now being pinned down kaya needs to get back into the house but looks like it's not going to look good for h2o because from all angles they have eyes on the show kagura here pops out the first oh my goodness i shots with a grenade on the kagura and now kaya looks like he will need to defend this area yuhai may go in there finish the ball ykb looks like he's been knocked out by ice at the same time yuhai will finish the job and on the other side art and kaya will need to survive the kaya will need to get out of here will the vehicle explode oh, no. oh my goodness the vehicle exploded onto kaya and now arts is all alone hashtag forever alone realize you are realize that craig and he is a monster with a panic <clears throat> Mm, it's thank you. really nasty and look at that with a toll you can hit 812 kills we're talking about overpowering really really miracle kid here oh so the other hand trying to get himself out there's no way out he will be down but he needs to knock my toy first because that's what he does and that was a really good nade by ui and really good spray getting two people killed at a time from ui himself the Miracle Kid, what did he have for breakfast? Well, well, yeah, this kid is just consistent all around. And H2 becomes the first team to go out here. Can you can you can you feel the sadness in my voice right now? Like I'm just so sad. Like, well, at least Arts, he got that he got that knockdown on Mata. He's like, yay, that's sort of like a half consolation for myself like yeah, i can screenshot yeah. this after this i'm a warrior i still fight for my death until until death do a spot or something like that <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but yeah just too sad for them yeah, yeah that's quite true but back to Bapa R here we do know they are very aggressive sadness is not an option for this game sorry cloud but they have to keep it going h2o will be the first one to be out just now i have to say that's pretty depressing it's beyond sad and the rest of the team still have 15 teams to go traitor smack in the middle there while we have Bapa R divinity crucifer is coming up very late he's the only sole survivor for the team rose east wasn't again tara will have to bomb each other very soon but on the west side of the map is really heavily occupied with so many teams there probably up to six teams are actually bantering themselves to make sure they got themselves in the safe zone oh man it's just as colorful as choo choo's rgb lights at this moment everyone's just coming <laughs> towards each other and on the northern side as well we do see a tara and miss rose they may bump into each other but look at this tone while esports have eyes on impurity on the left side on the right side they do have team no recall oh man this is just not gonna look so good for 
tone while esports because they need to get as close as possible into the circle tone while esports just using the terrain to their advantage and look at this btr is on the other side we we do remember how good btr is at, at flushing people out out of compounds so if they go on the team no recall i'll be a little bit worried there but of course all of them are still within the circle so they are fine but the pressure is on tone while esports because the circle will close at any point so impunity they are somewhat in the circle they have vehicles they have terrain so they are pretty fine right now but on their left side axis mpx is close by everyone's just keeping an eye on each other until the next circle yeah speaking of axis mpx they have changed their play style uh exponentially from week one to week three so we will be looking are they keeping it up momentum for the last week uh, second week that i do hope they do because this is the style that they're playing right now they're playing super safe and until needed they'll take up the fight but look at that oh that God. circle is a really really punishing most of the players yeah it won't be lsr it will be really on the west side of the map that nobody looking at that and nobody expected that at all researchers really are not happy with this circle, but they are trying to fight themselves towards net brotherhood. They are both teams are not actually quite in the safe zone here. They have to fight themselves, venturing it out. Net have to just cross path with one of the best teams. Both teams are the best right now. Researchers versus net brotherhood. Oh, researchers now. Small boy has eyes onto net brotherhood, but re irregardless, you have eyes. You still need to make your way into the circle. We do see here the rest of team members of resurgence. They are on the other side of the compound. Small boy has a vehicle with him. He can make a move for it whenever he wants to. But at the same time, we do see it looks like the kill goes out back to the trader as well. Happy looks like shots onto Jaeger. Jaeger has been knocked down by Insomnus over oh, the other side. It looks like they're kill stealing each other at this point because they're really close at this moment. And now Appy looks like he's been knocked down from afar by Gooda Jelly, getting the revenge onto his teammate. Aikuda tries to pop up the smoke and we'll go for the revive. Now Jake looks like he's been knocked down by Rectify at the same time. Aikuda needs to make it quickly because Vex and teammates, they are closing in on the side of Axis MPX just behind them. On the right side right now, Jake will be moving off. But again, the rest of team members, where are they? They cannot find where are the rest of Axis MPX Vex. Gooda Jelly trying to find their target but looks like they have eyes on the Aikuda right now. Bandage will go out onto Gooda Jelly. He doesn't have anything else besides his bandages. And now Vex on the other side have eyes all onto Axis MPX. The Molotov will go out here. Rectify tries to go for the flank. But then again, retreats. Looks like they just want to play by the edge of the circle. Be really safe at this point. Yeah, there's so many teams, multiple angles, war at that. And just now we're looking at Team No Recall already gatekeeping there. And now Nab Brotherhood have to fight one of the best aggressive teams. Bapa Argeni is playing against the Terrania. And apparently they have one knocked down for six. They lost a couple of mem one member on the side of Bapa R. If I'm not mistaken, it's um a Bart who's not in the game anymore we have resurgence net brother is really in predicament right now they are sandwiched between two teams that have really good firing power and massive one but Boki is really being punished the moment he tossed that net he's trying to toss another for lots 98 that will be knocked down very soon there you go the nate hit right on top of it dingles is going at it for fb Resurgence on the other hand, small boy trying to toss another nade. There's so many rain of nades coming up from Baba and also Ned brother in the middle. We are really sad. We're so bad stuck and not even to budge right now. I have no clue how they want to come up from this pit. Oh, and now Ned looks like they're in trouble now. Baba, uh, they're going for the siege onto the side of Ned. Sansita is in trouble. Our time will be finished up and Sam's is all alone. What can you do? Get from the clutch here. It's one against two. The small bats help him to survive. The bird has been knocked down. Sam's is still in the first end. But again, there's one more for him to take out. And Sam's is basically going to take this thing. And then Jenny will go in to try to finish it off. Jenny managed to take the knockdown. But no KOs there. And Jenny will go for the revive for his teammates. No points for the side of Ned. Oh, but wait for it. Resurgence is coming up very, very soon. We do know they are really, really cornered in the small hut that April is trying to play with the smoke, but Resurgence arrived. They don't want everybody out. This is disaster for some of the teams inside of that hut. There you go. 
I am trying to flush them out, and there's no way they can round this one out. And there you go. Two teams are being wiped by resurgence in their hands. Papa R and Matt both are facing into a box now, waiting back in the lobby. And neither of these teams are really ha happy with the outcome of this show. Oh, man. Plus, they need to put a taunt there as well. But what a great third party coming in by Resurgence. And now Team Secret, FV, as well as the Dingoes. They are nearby each other, but none of them are in the circle. The circle is closing in. And now this circle will definitely bring a lot of impact towards their life. We do see here the Dingoes. They need to make a rotation. But again, Team Secret, they are close by. And Infinity as well. They may join the party. Team Secret, Yuha is fronting the lines now. Nux and also Mesa looks like they will go to the side. Oh, but Shots being taken out. Nux being locked down. And a GG on the other side. But now all the kids are coming in. And now Nux have been knocked down. Taken out by FV. Barman and a GG have eyes on the rest of the team. But then again, on this top side, there's FV. But they say that Biu Biu. Looks like the Shots do go out onto the side of FP. FP now has been knocked down. And now it's not looking good for the side of Axis MPX. Team Secret still holding on this open position outside of the circle. Oh, Team Secret holding their fortress as much as they can. That was a nice play just now, but then will be now with tossing of the nades. You are is really knocked down. He needs the firing power from the team. But Biu Biu on the other end got punished the moment he just showed himself way out in the open. Eye shots at Matoi trying to reposition themselves to get a longer rotation to make sure they get Yuhai back on his feet now. And Bigotron trying to give more pressure on Team Secret. We have Impunity coming up from the sides here as well. There's also come up from behind of Team Secret. There's one more team right in front of us. There's so many teams surrounding Team Secret who try to advance themselves in a circle, which has been denied in time by yeah. Tron at that point. And look at that research is managed to get, wow, research is getting impunity. At the same time, Biu Biu trying to make sure that he will heal himself. One more bullet will just shred to that vest of his. The research is gatekeeping this so hard at the side of Tron right behind them. Oh, Resurgence Volki, you are just evil here. You have told while Eastwards pent down behind the tree. And now they can't get away from it. They only have the smoke. But then again, by that time, they make a move. The smoke will end. And they are outside the circle. Resurgence in prime position at this point. They have terrain. They have circle. They have, they have a vehicle. They have everything else. And now they have eyes as well on the rest of their opponents. And now Volki just from the top side here just keeping eyes on the other side where Biu Biu is at, at the same time Tone while Esports still being pinned down behind the smoke they need to make a move for it because in about 10 more seconds the circle will close in onto them Biu Biu has eyes on the Iron Pearl and he takes a shot onto Jojo instead and now Jojo taking a couple of damages there but nothing big no big impact here Biu Biu no best helmet is low at the same time but oh Iron Pro looks like he's been knocked down by Biu Biu and the taps goes Ooh. up on the long shot there by Volke my goodness me that was straight on headshot finish of Biu Biu straight away and that's Team Secret on fifth placement we down to top 14s while Esports still surviving as well as Bigatron resurgence and also Rose Esports Syndicate oh my god that name cooking it up they try to get side of resurgence Jojo on this side with the scar out trying to keep tabs on them but it's so hard with this terrain is really not favoring either of the team oh yes but then again looks like rsg is still within the circle in a decent position but now they're getting into an open position because the terrain just does not allow them to stay in the same position for too long but looks like oh small boy taking a couple of shots on from miss rose esports they may go for the siege but they're again on their behind as btr bigatron may go for it we do know that bigatron is very good at close quarters combat but at the same time we do see a tone while esports they're still pinned down outside they may not survive this it's going to be really really difficult for them as if i why 2k prepared the grenade he does know that btr is on their left side i am pro now they're all in an open position this is going to be really really hard for the teams you're down to top three teams here 
Oh, it's not just an open position. It's wide out in the open right now because everybody is just aiming oh. on resurgence who center at the center of the uh, map. But apparently, there's only two teams left. It roasts esports. Syndicate didn't manage to survive that one being wiped out. Bigotron is right on the downhill side. Resurgence, we have Voki trying to scope on and the rest of Bigotron who tried to climb himself on top of the hill of a mountain. Y2K already waiting for the entry point here. Waiting for it, but Sally got punished straight away the moment he popped his head. And now he's sitting over the high rock. And now there's one more night. Everything knocked down as well. It's down to well, really many skill people left. I am pro. Boki, white 2 k is really low as well. He's getting knocked down. Roki and Zuli trying to hold oh, it up. But there you go. It was really a great.